So some of you may have heard that uh, interest rates are up. And today I want to chat with you about some of the impacts of those increased interest rates and try to project forward um, on how they might be impacting the market too. And what you should do as either a buyer or a seller. Now, let's just talk about what interest rates have done. In the last 90 days, uh, the 30-year fixed rate interest in 30 year fixed rate interest rate has gone from 3.25% to 6.25%. And that sounds like a big move and it is a big move. Let me put it in context. If you were going to borrow $100,000 at 325, the monthly payment would be $435 a month. At 6.25, it's $616 per month. Yes, that's right, $616 a month. That's a differential of $181. Now, what does that mean in terms of the real world? Because no one in Hawaii borrows $100,000. Well, if a buyer borrows $500,000 at three and a quarter percent, their monthly payment would be $2,175 a month, $2,175. At six and a quarter percent, that same $500,000 costs them $3,080. Pretty big increase. That's a differential of $905 a month. And the impact of that is there are buyers that used to qualify for more money that are not are not now qualifying for the same amount. In other words, they um, you know their buying power is way down significantly. And the the other thing that's going on is that increase in interest rates has maybe made a buyer think, wow, $905 more a month, why would, I, why would I buy now? Later, I'm gonna tell you why I think you should buy now. And um, they may have gotten out of the market if they're saying, why should I buy now? So keeping that in mind, let's talk about why a buyer should buy now. Uh, we just had a three quarter of a percent rate increase yesterday and the Fed is saying that they're going to have more rate increases over the next year and as they increase the buying power of buyers go down and uh, and and that's going to slow house sales and and or it, I should say it may slow house sales now why should you buy now I think if we get the increases that we expect over the next year, six and a quarter percent could look like a deal and a half. All right. The other thing is, is that if you haven't purchased a home and you're renting, you're buying a house for somebody and you might as well repurpose those rental dollars to your use and to your benefit in an investment. Because here's the truth with more people not qualifying for financing, that means more people are going to become renters. And as more people become renters, you're going to see rental rates go up. So renting is kind of a trap too, because you're buying a house for someone else, but also you should expect that your rent should go up when a, this landlord has a chance to, because they can rent it for more. And if your landlord is purchased at a higher interest rate, they have to rent it for more, if you know what I mean. Now, sellers, what has this done to you? What's the impact on you? What we're seeing right now is we're seeing that uh, there is less volume in the market. Now, it's still very much a seller's market. You're still getting very good prices, but you're not getting the interest in activity and I would say the prices that you once were. But our problem is, is that we have low inventory. And as inventory drops, or check that, until we get 
more inventory in the pipe, I think sellers are still going to be in, in good shape. The challenge is, or the challenge sellers face is that the, they're not getting multiple offers like they used to. They're getting fewer offers because there's fewer buyers. But again, until we get more inventory, um, I don't see sellers getting hurt significantly. Now, why would a seller want to sell now? Well, Again, same reason a buyer would want to buy now, increasing interest rates. If interest rates do slow the market and shrink the pool of buyers, then it's going to you know, incrementally hurt sellers. And could it hurt them in a big way? Only time will tell. But I would say that if you're thinking about selling in the next couple of years, this summer is going to be a very good time to have sold because we're coming off the highs in volume and pricing and We'll see whether pricing continues to move. I don't think we're going to see an increase in, in the volume of buyers unless we get some offshore buyers in the market. And then if they come in, then all bets are off. So interest rates are moving up. Your payments are up. There's impacts on both buyers and sellers in real ways. And I would say that we're in a fluctuating market right now in the sense of we're trying to find out what overall this is going to mean in the mid to long term. And then also how long are we going to have these high interest rates? Here's something I can say with, with high confidence. I don't believe we're going to see 3% interest rates anytime soon because I think there are too many other economic forces in play and the days of historic lows are part of history now. You should expect that our new norm is going to be higher interest rates. With all of this said, keep the faith. I think it's still a good time to buy. If you're making Hawaii your home, you're not gonna regret it 10 years from now or 15 years from now. And uh, obviously, if you have any questions or would like to chat with me, call me at 808-398-3220. Appreciate you listening, and you have a great day.